This story will cover from then to now and next, all about change, how to turn losers into winners. For thousands of years, vultures have soared over the Pyrenees, the famous mountain border between France and Spain. Below them, other meat-eaters moved unknowingly from one country to another. Great travellers like wolves and bears, and the more mobile flyers above them, those vultures, searched high and low for food. Today, both on the ground and in the sky above, the lives of these predators and scavengers have changed greatly because of human activity. Bears and wolves have been hunted hard and can cause problems for farmers. Vultures in the past, considered to be useful cleaners of the landscape and the farmer's friend, are now much more controversial, involving varying political arguments in France and Spain and elsewhere. We'll tell this story of change and look to the future from the point of view of these extraordinary masters of sight and flight. Feather care is crucial to these birds. Their lives literally depend on their plumage, from big wing feathers to small ones close to the body. The beak can tear meat and the eyes can spot a carcass from a huge distance. They don't normally take live prey, like these partridge, but they will watch every single move they make. There has been much discussion about exactly what vultures eat, or just how useful they are to man. Or are they a threat to him and his animals? Are they a friend or foe? This special, truly, bird's eye view will try to answer those questions. A superb combination Fetus breaks, wings plus eyes lock onto a target. At a Spanish field research station, a biologist creates a special event. This is a special secret feeding place which helps support a large population of griffon vultures. But feeding them, however natural or unnatural, has been much discussed and the outcome is uncertain as we'll see. And it's these ancient shapes that the vultures use so effectively in their travels and searches for food. This is a very rare sight, a photo in Spain of all four European species of vulture together. At the back, the white Egyptian and the bearded, also known as the Lamagaya. These classic pictures show what it's famous for. He's also known as the bone breaker, with that special ability to digest bones, having arrived later than the other species when the bones have been left behind. This large species, the black vulture, is rare across Europe. It's a powerful bird, but as they say, the bigger you are, the harder you fall. And all over Europe, there are now more and more wind turbines, which can cause problems for big birds like vultures. Some of the birds near his village also travel there, probably in minutes, relying on the vulture internet as they see a feeding opportunity arriving. The more independent bearded vulture would be a great thrill if it decides to come down for the bones at the end of what is effectively a vulture show. An English nature check group helped pay for the event for which Manuel's red jacket makes all the difference.
Ahora ellos ya me verán. Sí. Quebranta. La menjer. As they move to the feeding place, the vultures start to descend. They know the routine. Local guide Laura Henderson also has a red jacket, but they probably won't get twice as many vultures. The group is lined up carefully on the slope. Manuel then takes the food, sheep today, away from the spectators. It's a case of first come, first served, and there's only so much to go around, and there are lots of vultures. Now Manuel backs away, drawing the vultures closer to the cameras, and still they come in. By tagging them, Manuel and his team can find out where these birds go, and more important, how and where they find their food. This sloping side is important because vultures need a good takeoff spot, especially when loaded with food. So this is the end of the show. Latecomers may still be hungry. The last one leaves. The Nature Trek group moved to the little village of St. Cilia. Vultures take us to the greatest of places where humans climb on their cliffs so much that they wear vertical paths. Perhaps we envy their ability to soar so easily over the highest, most spectacular peaks in Europe and so silently. And we can join them. Using updrafts along ridges these days you can birdwatch eye to eye, sharing the same air currents. With more understanding of the world of vultures, perhaps we can share our lives with them a little better.